Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name's Alicia. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a demo slash review for you guys with the new ColourPop and Star Wars collection. This took forever to get to me. I ordered this directly from ColourPop like the day that it released. I got the whole collection and I just got this in the mail maybe like three or four days ago. So um, yeah, this took a while. I should have just waited for it to come out on Ulta, ordered it from there, and I would have got it quicker. Um, but anyway, let's go through this collection really quick. First off, I want to go ahead and run through everything that came in this collection. And then in the tutorial portion of the video, I'll go more in depth as far as like the packaging hand swatches and then like actual applying them so you can see them like what they really look like and yeah that's kind of how the flow of this video is going to go so let's go ahead and get right in all right first off i think we have to start with the eyeshadow palette this is what i was looking forward to the most out of this whole collection and here is the packaging of it here you were getting 15 different shades absolutely stunning packaging as per usual with color pop the palette itself retails for $24. Following on with the eyes, this collection came with two Jelly Much shadows. This is the packaging for these here. These retail for $10 each and it came in the shade Protocol as well as Astro Mech. Also for the eyes, there were two liquid liners that came in this collection. I think they're so cute how they look like little lightsabers. These retail also for $10, and the shades that it comes in is Lightsaber as well as Kyber Crystal. There were five different lip products that came in this collection. So first off, I want to go over the lipsticks. So look at this packaging for this Lux Cream Lipstick. So cute with the Darth Vader packaging. These came in three different shades, Surrender, Dark Lord, and Supreme Ruler, and these retail for $10 each. Last up in the collection was a Lux Lip Gloss. There were two different shades released with this collection, and these are the cheapest items that are in this collection. These retail for $9 each, and it comes in two different shades, Elite and Imperial. All right, let's go ahead and get into the fun part of this video, which is the tutorial and the watches and all of that stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get right in. I have been so excited about getting this collection in the mail. And the first thing I think I'm going to use is actually one of these Jelly Much shadows. I have never tried a Jelly Much shadow, which is odd because I've gotten a lot of different things from ColourPop but never one of these shadows in particular. So I love the packaging. First off, you've got like R2-D2 and 3CPO. Isn't that what they're called? I don't know, guys. I'm not like a, I like Star Wars, but I'm not like a huge Star Wars fan, if that makes sense. But I love the packaging. I am like a super like space nerd. So I just freaking love, like I love everything about it. Okay, I'm here for it. This retails for $10 and when you take it out, the packaging here is just as stunning. It's got the stars and stuff. Now I will say, I think the lettering on these is like pretty cheap. And that was because I pulled out one of these lip glosses, which you'll see later, but it was like already starting to wear off. So what I'm saying is, I think that these all have the potential to do that. But you open it up, it does have a little cover and in today's look, I want to keep it kind of like blue smoky, like bluish, purplish, silverish smoky if I can. And I thought that this was just so pretty. So it's really a weird texture. Like when I take it out on the lid, it feels kind of thick. And then in here even, it's, you know, it's not going anywhere. So yeah. Oh. That would probably look really pretty like over black or a dark blue. I was going to use this as a base today. I think I still am because why not? So I'm just going to use my finger and apply this. Holy crap. That is so nice. 
feels really good and like cooling as well but like look at that pigment holy heck yeah I think that like spotlight over a dark blue or a black would look so freaking pretty as usual I'm just gonna do one eye on camera one eye off of camera all right guys so I've been letting the jelly much shadow sit on my eye for just a minute and now I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Star Wars eyeshadow palette I love the packaging of this so you've got Han Solo you've got Luke Skywalker Princess Leia you've got Darth Vader Chewbacca 3CPO RT R2D2 so I absolutely love the packaging so so much this retails for $24 on the back. There are the different shades of the eyeshadows. This is actually raised, which I thought was pretty cool. So you can like actually feel those. But I just love the detail. So this is what the actual palette itself looks like. I love the star, like the galaxy background. This is raised and it's like psychedelic looking, you know, like holographic. And then on the back, you've got the shade names of the shadows again. And again, this is raised. I just think 10 out of 10 so far on the packaging. You open it up and you have got your 15 different eyeshadow shades. And you do not have a mirror, but you do have all of your characters on there. Just like the packaging itself. And I just think it is so nice. I love that you are getting some different like red shades in here. You are getting some neutrals. You're getting some very cool tone shades as well. I love this like duo chrome here. You are getting some different marbled shades in here as well. And I'm pretty sure these are super shock formula. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into some swatches. here is the palette all swatched out itself now I do want to just point out a few different shades first shade is hyperdrive and I mean just look at that shade that shade on the lid would be stunning I feel like it would just look super glossy and reflective next up is one of those marbled shades this is outer rim and it has got just like a bluish purple burgundy I don't know it's so nice then you have got space pirate which is another one of those marbled shades and it is gorgeous as well I feel like it is a silver and like navy blue almost mixed together it's kind of just like this dark smoky reflective light blue periwinkle-ish type of shade. I don't know. It's very interesting. And then last off, we have got Rebel Princess, which is actually the first one in the palette, but I just feel like it is such a unique shade as well. So in order, it was this color that I swatched, this one, this one, and then this one here. So there you go. I just think this palette is something special, honestly. There are so many unique shades in here, like very duochrome type of shades in this palette. And every single shade that I swatched felt amazing, super creamy. Like in particular, look at these three shades right here. Even, I mean, these, all of them, <laughs> all of them swatched amazing is what I'm trying to say. Like these mattes, swatched so pigmented and like smooth I don't know I from the feel of this one right off the bat first impression I think it's gonna be pretty freaking bomb I want to do a swatch of the jelly much eyeshadows really quickly so this first one is astromech and this is the one that I have on my lid currently and there is that shade there absolutely stunning look at the reflection on that 
All right, next up is the shade Protocol. As you can tell, same exact packaging. And this one is more of a gold shade, but you can see that consistency. It's just such an odd, like, moussey. Like, you see how it's kind of bouncy? But it's, like, very creamy and wet at the same time. I don't know. It's very interesting. And then just swatches. Amazing. Super pigmented and reflective. I mean, these are really, really good. I do think these would be ones from ColourPop that would dry out pretty quickly. So you're going to want to make sure you keep this lid and keep it on tight. Like I don't even like this one. I feel like it could be tighter in there. Like that should have made the, the little cap a little bit bigger. But there you go. All right, guys. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is start building up the crease. And I think I'm going to go in with this Starfighter shade right here. I'm going to get that with a big fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to go right into the crease. This shade is gorgeous. It's like a brownish pink and I absolutely love shades like that. This just all over the lid into the crease would be beautiful. It's like a one and done type of deal and I say that all the time but um, really it would be. All right, I'm going to go in with that same brush and I'm going to go into this shade over here, which is Alliance. These mattes are so creamy and apply just so nicely. Like blends like a freaking dream. I'm going to take a little bit more of that shade Alliance. I think even leaving it right there would be fine, but we're going to take it up a notch. I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is Republic. So far, the only shades that I have used have been mattes. As far as from this palette. Alright, so I'm going to put the red on there. And then I'm going to go into this black, which is Star Destroyer. I'm going to go in with that same brush. I'm just going to do like a thick liner with this black and kind of bring this black up into this outer crease over here and I'm really smudging this out now I'm going to go in with the lid shade I'm going to use which is outer rim one of those like special shades that I showed y'all freaking love it already I'm going to put this down all over the lid. Are you freaking kidding me? We're going to take it up another notch. I'm going to go into this Space Pirate shade, which is another one of those shades that I told y'all was like a special shade. I'm going to take this and I just want to kind of spotlight with this right in the center all right now i'm gonna go in with a tiny little fluffy blending brush and i just kind of want to enhance that crease again so i'm gonna go into the shade alliance which is kind of like this taupey plum type of a shade really really pretty shade and i'm gonna look down and right where that shimmer ends that is where I'm going to put this shade so like directly into the crease and I think it just brings everything together all right so that's going to be it for the upper lid I'm going to go ahead and put on a good bit of the rest of my makeup and then we'll be back for this collection guys I almost completely forgot there are liquid liners with this collection. Now, I'm not a huge liquid liner person. In fact, I never wear liquid liner, so I'm kind of nervous about this. But there were two that came in this collection, and I think it's so cute how they look like the little lightsabers, right? These retail for $10. One of them is called Lightsaber, and one of them is Kyber Crystal. 
this is the packaging here. Again, I do think that the writing and stuff probably will start to wear off eventually. I mean, maybe not right away, but this is the shade Lightsaber. So that's really pretty. And this is the shade Kyber Crystal. That one's really nice too. All right. All right, I'm kind of nervous about this. I don't want to completely mess up this eye look, but I do want to try this for you guys. So I'm taking the shade Kyber Crystal and we will see how this works out. All right, guys, I'm not like a liner person at all, but I feel like that doesn't look too bad. I mean, definitely not what I would like, but I feel like it doesn't look bad and it did add something to the look. Will I use these all the time? No. If I wasn't wanting to show you guys what all came in this collection, I probably honestly wouldn't pick these up just because this isn't something that I use day to day. But I do think these are absolutely gorgeous shades and like unique shades. Like this is like a metallic bronze shade. And then this is like a duochrome, like bluish, purplish, greenish type of a shade. Both very metallic. And yeah, I just think that they're interesting. All right, so I threw on the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna run you through what I have on the rest of my face really quickly. So I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Luminous Foundation and I have mine in the shade 220N. I actually mixed this with my MAC Studio Radiance Face and Body Foundation and this is in shade N2. So I put two pumps of this and then just like a little tiny little drop of the uh, MAC Studio Radiance. And yeah, I do like this combo for the for the concealer, I use the Dominique Cosmetics. This is the Wide Awake Concealer in the shade Oat Milk. I do have a video focused on this concealer, so I will have that linked in the description box down below. I also used the Dominique Cosmetics Setting Powder. This is just in the shade Translucent, and although it is a very small amount that you are getting here, I do think that this powder is really nice and blurring. For my bronzer, I pulled out a classic one that I use all the time. This is from Kylie Cosmetics, and this is the shade Khaki. And as far as bronzers go, whenever I'm doing a more cool tone look, I always tend to pull for this bronzer. For highlight today, I'm using one from Pat McGrath. This is from a few years back, like her holiday collection. I love this thing. It is so freaking weighted and beautiful. I leave this out on my desk 24-7 but it actually unscrews. And then this is the highlight here. This is in the shade Champagne Gold. And that is what I have on my cheeks today. For blush, I pulled out another favorite. This is one that is like a go-to. If I don't know what to wear or just in general, if I'm wearing a cool tone look, this is like one of my go-to blushes. This is from Buxom. This is the Primer Infused Blush. And this is in the shade Seashells, Seychelles. Um, but this is the shade here and it is just, it's got like a nice sheen to it as well. It's so pretty. Brows, which I went a little bit crazy with my brows. This is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I have mine in the shade Medium Brown. I have already purchased a new one of these, but at this point I am like scraping the edges for product. Um, so you can tell how much I love this stuff. Now we are ready to finish up the lower lash line. So to do that, honestly, I think I'm going to go into this shade first, that Alliance shade. I love that plummy taupe. It's like completely my jam. So I'm taking a little pencil brush here. And I'm just going to go right along that lash line. I am tapping this off since I've already got the rest of my makeup done. As you can see, I mean, these shades really are pigmented and they just blend themselves. All of these are such a good formula. All the ones that I've used, which is a decent amount, honestly, 
and they're just working so nicely. This is ColourPop's Good Formula, guys. All right, now I'm gonna take a little smudger brush and I'm gonna go into that burgundy type of shade that we used, Republic. Again, tapping that off. And I'm gonna go right on the outer corner with this one and smudge it around. And I'm bringing this like pretty much like halfway. Now I think I'm gonna get a super small liner brush and I'm gonna go into that Star Destroyer shade, the black. And I'm just gonna get this literally as tight to the lashes as I can right on this outer corner. And I'm only putting this one on the outer corner. Now, as usual, I'm gonna take just a little fluffy blending brush, nothing on here. And I'm just gonna kind of run this along the edges of everything to brighten up the very inner corner. I think I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is Space Pirates. And I'm gonna go on that little smudger brush and I'm gonna kind of focus it more where there's like some silver. And I'm gonna put this like right here in that inner third. Adds a little bit of sparkle as well. And then for the very, very inner corner, I'm gonna try to use this shade. This is that Rebel Princess, but this is a very like duochrome type of shade and it's got like a blue shift to it. But let's see, I'll put this right here. I feel like that works. Oh yeah, I think that that looks nice actually. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, finish up the other eye. I'm gonna put on my lower lash mascara and then we'll be back for all of the lip products. All right, so this is the eyeshadow look here that we created with this Star Wars palette. And honestly, I freaking love it. I think it is like just super dimensional and like duochrome and I'm for, I am here for it, okay? So everything in here was so easy to work with. I actually used seven of the 15 different eyeshadows today, so almost half the palette. And yeah, I have zero complaints with the shades that I used, really happy with it. Let's go ahead and get into the lip glosses. So this is the Lux Lip Gloss Formula. And as you can tell, it is in limited, limited edition Stormtrooper packaging. There are two different shades. There is Elite and Imperial. I'm gonna go ahead and open these up for you. These retail for $9. So this is the cheapest product in the collection. Here is the shade Imperial. It's like a nice corally peach type of a shade. I think it is absolutely beautiful. As you can tell, the packaging is this like same galaxy type theme. There is what this one looks like swatched out on the hand. I'm going to go ahead and put this on bare lips. I do have some lip balm on my lips, but that's it. Feels really nice. It smells... It smells like fruity. But yeah, here it smells like watermelon. That's what it smells like. So this is what the shade looks like. And here is what this one looks like. Of course, this is the one that I have my eye on. As you can tell, I feel like you're really not gonna get much of a color with these. I mean, this one you can definitely see like the reflex in there. And I will say, if you're pressing your lips together with this one in particular, like I can feel the glitter in here. Also in this collection are three different Cream Lux lipsticks. Of course, this has got the limited edition Darth Vader packaging. You've got Supreme Ruler, Surrender, and then Dark Lord. These retail for $10 each, and I love the packaging on these. Feels like 
nice in your hand. It's not like super heavy or anything like that. Magnetized lid or anything. It's just basic packaging, but it feels just nice. And I also, I love the design of it. You open it up and on the inside, look at the bullet. Is this not just stunning? Stunning. For 10 bucks, come on. This is the shade Supreme Ruler here. This is the shade Dark Lord, so more of like a nude. And then this one is Surrender. And this one is like a bright blue-toned red. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a swatch on my hand. And then I'm also going to swatch these on my lip. All right, so this one is Dark Lord, which is funny because it's the lightest of all the lipsticks. But there is that shade. Absolutely gorgeous. Then you have got the shade Surrender. And then last up is Supreme Ruler. All right, now with these, I am going to line my lips. This is just a Model Co. Lip Illusion Lip Liner. It's like the same exact color as my lips. So I'm just going to go on my lip line with this for all of these shades. All right, first up is Dark Lord. All right, next up is the shade Surrender. All right, last up is the shade Supreme Ruler. All right, so I think I'm going to leave this lipstick on and I'm going to go into this lip gloss, which is Elite. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to go back into that lip gloss. All right. And this is the look. I think I'm going to change my lipstick, but I wanted to see what this combo looked like. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is the finished makeup look. As I mentioned, this whole collection retails for $105. I think if you were purchasing these items separately, it ended up being like $112. So you're not saving like a ton of money from picking up the whole thing. Therefore, I think that you should pick up what you specifically like from this collection. Now, I did pick up the whole thing so that I could review it for you guys. But having used everything and like taken everything out, swatched it and things like that, I know for a fact I would not have purchased this whole entire collection. Let's go through our thoughts on these items. Oh, and I did want to mention in case you guys were curious, I did put on a different lipstick. This is one that is not from this collection just because I am going out in a bit and I just, I wanted to put on what I wanted to wear. You know what I mean? So this is from Becca and yes, you can't, Becca is no longer a brand. You may still be able to pick up this lipstick from somewhere though, but the lipsticks from Becca are so freaking good. So if you ever see them on sale anywhere, TJ Maxx, anything like that, they are so good. This is the shade Petal and I just thought that it would look nice with this eye look. All right, let's talk about these things in the order that we use them. So the first thing that I actually used was the Jelly Much eyeshadows. So it came in two different shades, Protocol, which is more, it looks white, but it's more of like a gold whenever you get it swatched on the hand. And then you also have Astromech. 
And this one is like a duochrome, like bluish, silverish, purple shade. I actually use this one as a base. And out of the two of these, I would definitely pick this one. I just think it's more interesting. These retail for $10 each. I think both of these are amazing though. Honestly, the formula of these is so nice and so interesting. It was really easy to work with, super pigmented right from the get-go. And yeah, I think that these are really, really good, but I would be worried about these drying out quickly. So I think this is a product that if you get it, it's not gonna be good for like too terribly long. You know what I mean? Probably like a year. Next up is one of my favorite things from this, probably my favorite thing from this collection, and that is the actual palette itself. Holy shit, this formula is so nice, which you never know with the collab. Is it going to be like their best formula? Is it going to be like the okay one or, you know, a, a lesser par formula from ColourPop? In general, I think ColourPop consistently releases like good quality eyeshadow palettes, but this is a great quality eyeshadow palette. It retails for $24 and you're getting 15 different shades. It also is, of course, limited edition licen licensed packaging. Star Wars, if you're a Star Wars fan, I think that you would love this. I love all of these Super Shock shades in here and these marbled shades I think are fantastic. Again, when I used this, I did seven of 15 different shades for this eye look. And I don't think it looks crazy at all, honestly. And then if you count the Jelly Much shadow, that's eight shades that we used for this look. I think everything meshes together really, really well. Um, super easy to use. Everything worked like a dream in here. And I used a bunch of different formulas. So, yeah. This one gets a 10 out of 10 for me. All right. The liquid liners. Honestly, I like these a whole lot more than I thought I would. I, if you guys have watched my channel, I do not do liquid liner just in general. I really don't even do like even gel liner or anything like that. Usually if I'm lining my eye, it is with a powder. So um, this is not something that I use all the time at all. Actually, very, very sparingly. And I think it really added to the look. I think both of the shades in here are very interesting. And I think that yeah i mean it was just super super simple to use even for somebody that never uses it and i think you can't go wrong with these ten dollars each there are both metallic shades in here one is a bronze and that is the shade lightsaber and then kyber crystal is the one that i use today and that is like a dark black purplish blue type of a shade that's very metallic it's what I have on and yeah I mean I think these are again so so good so all of the eye products from this collection are fire I honestly cannot say the same thing about the lip products the lip glosses I think are fine um I think either one of these is really pretty this one I actually prefer, which is the shade Elite. I think when you put it on, it just looks like a very pretty, like shimmery pink type of a shade. Um, this one just makes your lips look like kind of like wet and just glossy. This one is the shade Imperial. I think either one of these is really, you know, you can't go wrong with, but I prefer the Elite one just because it's a little something special. Now, the lipsticks. These are like a hard, hard no for me for two of them. And that is the darker shades. So this Surrender Shade and Supreme Ruler, these like were getting all out of the line. Even when I used my little lip liner with it, it was getting all over the place, like slipping and sliding. And with colors like these, no thank you. That is not what I want. I want to put them down right where I want them and I want it to stay there. So these are like a hell no for me. Now, having said that, this one is really beautiful. This one is the shade Dark Lord and I would recommend this one. I think this one was really easy to apply. It wasn't like slipping all around or if it was, like it really didn't look like it. Um, and this one was really comfortable. I mean, in general, all of them are really comfortable as far as the formula is concerned. But 
I do like this nude shade in this formula. That is going to be it for me today, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it helped if you were thinking about picking any of these items up. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.